Hi everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to change this makeup look into this with Adobe Photoshop. And for the records, I've already posted this makeup photo like one year ago to my Instagram. I know that it's not my best looking uh, makeup look, but anyway, let's get started. So as usual, I'm starting with duplicating my image. Uh, this is how you can compare before and after or if you do any mistake, you can easily uh, delete the mistakes you did. Okay, as the first step, I want to change my eyeliner's color. As you can see, now it's like dark brown, but I want it to be black. To do this, I'm gonna darken the liner and then lower the saturation because brown has like reddish, uh, yellowish color inside and I don't want it. To darken, I'm clicking on curves and I'm gonna drag it down from the middle and you will see that whole image will be darkened but we're gonna fix it. Now I'm painting my whole image with black. You see that small white square will be black and then I'm gonna pick the white color and I'm gonna uh, paint over where the eyeliners are so the changes can show themselves. It's like black crayon uh, scratching art. Time to lower the saturation from eyeliners. For this, I'm clicking on hue saturation icon. But before I do any changes, I'm going to first mask layer and while pressing to alt, I'm dragging to up. So the changes will be applied only to eyeliners. Let's lower the saturation by clicking to the button and then just lower it before and after and I'm very satisfied with this. By the way, I'm not a professional uh, photoshopper so uh, I'm sure there is a way but whenever I do some changes I'm just flatten my image and then duplicate again and keep going what I'm doing. So as second step I'm gonna change my lid's color. For this I'm picking my lasso tool and create a big circle around my eye and then right click and then layer via copy and then I'm going to filter and click on camera raw filter I know that this is not a raw image but heck I don't know I like to do some changes from that filter this is the filter panel and I want this nice lilac color for my lid so I'm gonna play with the tint till I get this uh, color I want. I kind of work messy I know as you can see everywhere around my eye is pink so to get rid of it I'm picking my eraser tool and I'm erasing the um, unnecessary parts. Gotta do the same thing for the other eye. Thank you. 
Actually for me this looks good right now but I don't know maybe I should try darkening my crease. Okay let's work on it. So I'm starting with uh, creating a new layer and then with black color I'm just painting over my crease but you should be careful that opacity and what was the name flow yeah they should be 50% or uh, lower than 50% of course I have to blend this color just like we're all blending our eyeshadows to do that I'm going to filter blur Gaussian blur and then I'm just gonna play around to blend it good The thing is, since I blended this, it also darkened my lid a little bit, so I have to clean this. I'm picking my eraser tool and I'm cleaning around, but to see it clearly, I'm going to blending modes and I'm clicking on dissolve to see where I've cleaned and where's still messy. After cleaning process end, time to do the second part of blending which I'm going to be doing from blending modes I think I'm gonna stick with darken as I mentioned before it's just like blending the eyeshadows so I'm kind of building this up with the new layers and probably with the other layers I'm going to be using the other blending options Now my favorite part, I'm gonna pop the highlighter. To do that I'm again creating a new layer and I'm picking my white color and I'm painting where I want my highlighter to be. It's safer to do each place with new layer because um, each place in our face uh, shines different. Gotta blend this highlighter too with the Gaussian blur. And of course, after this, uh, I gotta clean around. My eye shines good. Okay, we're almost done. The only thing I'm gonna change is the glitter liner. So, I'm going to hue saturation panel and then I am clicking on colorize and then I'm gonna play with the colors yes I found my color and again I'm gonna do this white and black and white color stuff again on my mask layer Let's paint this liner. And voila! This is it. And girl, I like this color combination. Maybe I should do this for real someday. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you could understand what I mean. Because obviously I'm not a native English speaker. So forgive my English. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Bye bye.